Hello, art teachers. I'm Grace Hulse, a former BCPS elementary art teacher and currently working for the Visual Art Office doing teacher support. I'm here to review the second quarter theme object for grades three through five. I'll be walking you through the units, lessons, and resources that are available to you. The theme encompasses uh, three units that build skills and knowledge sequentially, introducing students to artists and ideas. As with all the new elementary theme units, you will find standards, essential questions, enduring understandings, a unit overview, resources, and vocabulary on the beginning slides. These are designed to help you prepare for teaching and making uh, adjustments as desired to fit the needs of your students. Let's take a look at the first lesson in Unit 1, Everyday Objects. Here, students are introduced to two artists whose work primarily focuses on still life. Students will examine and compare and discuss the still life drawings of Giorgio Morande and the photographic work of contemporary artist Daniel Gordon. Students think about the importance of planning and reflection that happens before starting a work of art as they collect, arrange, and document objects for a still life drawing. The final lesson in this unit asks students to select and arrange several objects for a still life composition. There are three suggested options for drawing using contour lines. Teachers are encouraged to select options or modify in the try it section um, to fit the needs that best suit your, their students. Unit 2, Pattern Collections, calls for students to take a deep dive into pattern making. Here they will examine patterns of, uh, as designs for textiles and other commercial products and as a compositional element in artworks and as cultural symbols. The first lesson in this unit asks students to create a personal symbol motif to be used in pattern making. Opportunities for discussing careers in graphic arts and textile designs can be incorporated into this lesson. The final lesson in this unit looks at ways drawing patterns can be used as a meditative process. Uh, we take a look at Tibetan monk color sand mandalas, the drawings of Louise Despont, as well as ways to use repeated lines and shapes uh, to create meditative Zen tangle drawings. Students can access resource one, creating a pattern collection, to find instructions for creating a variety of patterns using different types of media. After creating and sharing their pattern examples, students save their work to use with the final lesson of this unit. In lesson three, pattern collection books, we'll explore and discuss examples of designer sample books, such as fabric swatch books or paint colors charts, along with artist journals as resources for experimenting and saving ideas. Students will create a sample book of their own to house their pattern designs from the previous lesson. Directions for creating sample books are included in resource two. These are the same directions as um, third through fifth graders used last spring um, for our, the artist tell stories lesson. So they should be familiar with the techniques. A video lesson for uh, bookmaking is also available on VoiceThread. Look for Artists Tell Stories by Miss Davis on the BCPS VoiceThread page via Schoology to view or upload to assignments. Once books are made, students cut apart their pattern designs for le from Lesson 2 and glue them into their books. After designing a cover for their book, students photograph or create a video of their work to share online. The final unit in the object series, Story Vessels, builds on explorations from the two previous units. The first lesson focuses on uh, the historical traditions of pottery making from ancient Greece and 14th century Chinese porcelain 
In addition to examining the size and shape of these vessels, students will examine how artists use them to tell narratives through imagery and patterning. After examining and discussing the examples, students sketch ideas for a personal vessel, focusing on the shape and features such as handles, a base, or spout, and then present three unique vessel designs to share. In lesson two, students are introduced to the work of ceramicist Roberto Lugo. Lugo creates uh, large ceramic vessels informed by the shapes of historical pottery. He describes his work as biographical narratives that tell the story of his life, including experiences with obesity, racism, and class division. The imagery on his vessels includes portraits of uh, political, historical, and cultural icons that have influenced his life. The vessels are highly decorated with patterns um, inspired by Greek and Asian pottery, as well as graffiti. For the triad section of this lesson, students are encouraged to think of a person who has influenced them in a positive way. Using media of their choice, they create a portrait that of that person, saving it to use for the next lesson. In the final lesson of this unit and the culminating activity for the object theme, students will bring the previous explorations together to create a personal story vessel. They're introduced to the narrative work of Potter Maria Paz, a young contemporary California artist whose work chronicles her experiences as a former undocumented U.S. resident. Now it's students' turn to create a story vessel honoring the influential person they drew in the portrait lesson. Students select the vessel shape they wish to use from their previous drawings and then recreate it using larger drawing paper. There is also an option to produce it using a digital drawing program. And the portrait is placed on the vessel and to complete the vessel, students add color, patterns, designs, and writing as desired. This unit was designed for virtual learning. However, options for hybrid or in-person learning um, could include creating a clay vessel, such as these bowls made by third graders, using a press mold technique and sgraffito drawing on underglaze. A second three-dimensional option could be creating a paper mache vessel using recycled containers to build the armature. The examples here are from a New York Times article. I hope your students enjoy the lessons and explorations in the object theme, and I look forward to seeing the amazing work they do. Thanks.